Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens. Um, thought I'd give an update on my downstairs hobby system, or display system. Um, here's my sump. Um, I don't really have much space here. Sorry about the video work. Here's the sump, roughly about three or four hundred litres. Um, it's got a rough, deep water culture rough system on top of it. Above it, the 236 watt light. Um, 36 watt fluorescence, um, daylight, pure daylight, um, standard grow lights. Um, got some nice salads going on there. Asian uh, cutting salad, red red leaf mustard, or something it's called. Um, some bok choy up the back there. Everything's going pretty well. Nice pe uh, capsicum pepper plant there. I uh, got my new LEDs arrived uh, the other day, uh, day before yesterday, just set them up in the last few days. Cables and stuff going a bit everywhere at the moment, but um, things are getting there. Uh, I'll explain the system a little bit further, um, just to let you know what's going on. More LEDs there, one more will come here, finish off these holes. So there's some more seating out today. Okay, so water gets pumped through a second hose. I use two pumps in case uh, one pump breaks. There'll be always a continuous water flow for the fish. It means I don't have dead fish no matter how like, if one pump blows. If both pumps blows, then I have a problem. So that's pretty rare. So the second pipe flows through here, up to here, into there. It runs down there into this deep water um, culture deep water culture rough system um, to that pipe over there runs down through here down the other end and out there and into the last fish tank a um, bit of water is actually divided off into each of the fish tanks very very little um, but it's enough to keep the fish happy um, in the end tank down the other end there and there we go slowly back again in the end tank down there that's where 90% of the water comes out and that's where I have my fingerlings um, they're most important to me as they're my future stock and I, I need them to be happy and uh, it gives lots of water flow, lots of oxygen I love these new LEDs uh, it's, uh, Blue red ratio two to one. That's my. I got them special custom made from a company in Hong Kong. Um, they're world renowned LED builders. They build Philips lights. They build uh, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of different LED companies. These are the manufacturers of the lights. Um, each LED is three watts. Um, each light, as you can see, it goes from there to the middle joiner piece there. That's 60 watts, um, it's about 22, 20, uh, 20 LEDs in each one. Yeah, I think it's actually 24, they say 60 watts. And when we come back to here again, uh, the water got also gets spread out down this end through this pipe. As you can see there, uh, it's a bit I had to stuff in a bit of foam to um, make the water a bit more even, flow through. I had to be held down on one end. Um, just divide off into these four PVC outlets and then into the big 110mm PVCs. I know it's a shame I don't have white PVC but we don't have it in here in Switzerland. Um, so I had to make do with this orange PVC. Um, yeah, and the water runs through there with these pipes. They're about half full down to the end here. They'll evenly distrib distributed. Um, as you see, I've drilled the hole halfway up the PVC cap um, to make sure there's always half full of water. It means just the bottom of the net pots are being touched at all times. So they've got half the pipe is air, half the pipe is water. 
That means I don't need air stones in each of these pipes. It's an NFT system. Um, saving on air stones is a big thing. Like, uh, power is power to me. I'm using a lot of power as it is. And it's a bit like a crack. Crikey system, crikey touch bucket system. The water gets spread out there back into my sump. These two tanks here are just filters. Um, I'll show you if you have a look at my last videos. This first one just here is the moving bed me media filter. It's working really great. Um, I have zero ammonia, zero nitrides, um, enough nitrates to obviously grow my plants. And I've just put in another. About 350 fish today, um, fingerlings to pump the system up a little bit. Um, thing I will show you that a new addition to the system. Excuse my camera work one second, guys. Is this? This is a floating raft I built, a floating net cage. It's like a harp, harp I will say. Um, you see the little fish in there, there's uh, I think about 150 in this net, it's made out of um, stainless steel netting and then this wooden frame uh, doubled up on either side so the fish can't get in or out, I don't want the big fish sneaking in or out, that's why you got a lid on top. Um, it allows me to, in the bigger section here, put in a scene of the fish, a uh, little hiding. Just put them in there, it's the top of that there, you can see. Uh, just put them in about half an hour ago. Got another 150, 200 fish underneath, and they're slightly bigger. They were the strongest out of the, the, the breeding stock that I had out of the, what do you call it, out of the fingerlings. I did my breeding, took out the biggest 150, put them separate. This way that you can get food easier, as well as um, they don't cannibalize each other. Um, very important to uh, separate your fish, good for grading at all times. Um, this tank here, I won't show you in there because I'm about to do feeding and I'll just scare the fish a little bit. Um, I will do an update on feeding one day, but uh, today is not the day. In here, there's about 10 or 15, no, I think, I think 15, um, big 700 to 1 kilo, 700 grams to 1 kilo fish. Um, I can see them down there, so it's a little bit dark. And I've changed my feed um, for, the, for the baby fish, for the fingerlings. I used to grind up my own fish food. Um, I used soya-based tilapia feed um, from a company here in Switzerland and when I crushed it up the soya got released into the water my water went murky within um, 48 hours so now I've replaced that with um, 0.6 millimeter trout, starter trout feed this is a uh, 60% protein and um, 60% protein and full of vitamins and so much better for your fingerlings. Already noticed the difference within two days. Only received it yesterday. Um, the water quality should be changing a lot in the next few days. The water quality is great. I just mean the cloudiness. The cloudiness uh, drives me crazy. I like crystal clear water and it was just because I was trying to save a bit of money, grind up my own food. Believe me, it's not worth your hassle. Good off buying the proper food, it's got higher protein, better vitamin content, and um, overall just much better off. So, give me a, leave some comments, tell me what you think of my room. Uh, I've got plenty of these lights, I bought um, 50, 47 I received today, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, and I've got about another 150 coming in the next few days. Um, leave me a message if you want a price on these lights. Um, believe me, I see the difference within 24 hours of putting them on. Um, I don't know, there's something about this red and blue light that the plants just really fucking love. I've 
done a bit of experimenting with LEDs, a lot with fluorescent lights. Um, but I think the LEDs are the way to go. Each one of these LEDs, they say it's equivalent to a three to four hundred watt uh, HPS high pressure sodium lamp or low pressure sodium lamp. Um, that I have to see for myself in the next few weeks. I'll keep you updated and you can see for yourself. Um, believe me, these lights are cheap. Um, you're not going to be paying the price that Philips sells them for or anyone else. Give me a yell and um, depending on how many you need, I can work up a really good deal. And uh, happy growing. Um, send me some videos of your own aquaponic systems. I hope some guys out there are like myself and just a bit eccentric and go crazy. Um, I opened my company officially yesterday. Um, paying taxes and everything now. It pissed me off a little bit. But uh, had to be done. Time to get serious. Um, big rooms in planning and going to be built in the next few weeks. Oh, going to be started in the next few weeks. And uh, yeah, time to get fully commercial. If you got any questions, you want me to show a video on one specific thing, or um, I've got some new Nile tilapia coming, bre breeder stock coming um, tomorrow afternoon. So maybe I'll do an update show you my new breeder stock, they're not the red uh, red nails, <coughs> got the plain old silvers, um, but they're really beautiful, beautiful colours, bit of red, bit of blue, bit of silver, they're really really nice fish. And they have mixed sex, which means I can breed them myself, um, I don't know if I showed you these fish in here, I got these from a high school, or from a university, a college here in Switzerland. Um, these are the red nails. See them coming up there, they're hungry as well. But they're 99% males. What are you going to bloody do with them? They're good for um, fish farming and everything else. But most of my customers want to breed their fish. Um, have a little play with it anyway. Most of them give up after the first year. It is a lot of work. And uh, most people think it's a pretty easy thing. It is easy, but when you start running thousands of fish, and believe me, when you have males and females in the tank, you will have thousands of fish within a few months. Um, if you don't, there's a problem with your system. Um, I'm holding pretty close to 8,000 fish at the moment, and um, believe me, I have a good system, but it's still a bit of work. Like, uh, you have to know what's going on. Um, Oxygen levels, nitrate levels, ni ammonia levels. It's a lot of work. Uh, keep leads the breeding up to other people. I just recommend buying all male tilapia. Um, I do separate my males out of my own breeding, out of my own um, stock, and people can buy all males or all females or um, one male and a lot, a lot of females. They can pick what, like mix and match how they want. Um, I like to keep it pretty free for people. Okay guys, the video's gone on long enough. It is a bit long, 13 minutes. I'll keep you updated soon. Um, stay tuned for another video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Ciao.